Man, I'm just appreciative of the efforts of the men in that room. Uh, obviously, we were leaking today. We were leaking in a lot of ways in terms of physically, emotionally, and so forth. And I just appreciate, um, you know, the medal that the group showed this week in terms of, you know, remaining singularly focused in the midst of the storm, man, and putting together a winning performance. Like I said also, though, at the beginning of the week, um, where we are is more than one good day, one good plan, one good winning performance in terms of working our way back to respectability. And so we're appreciative of the day, but we still understand exactly where we are. And um, we ain't running away from it. We're going to continue to run to it and, and, and get better and uh, prepare for our next opportunity. We had some bumps and bruises along the way. Kenny's in the concussion protocol. Uh, James Pierre um, had what I guess could be described as a stinger. Miles Jack had an ankle, but I think he was able to go back. Ogan Joby, same thing. I think he was able to go back. Um, I can't say, I can't say enough about um, that secondary group that we had out there today. Um, man, it was it was a great opportunity for a lot of those guys. Man, first opportunity in some instances, redemption in some instances. Guys getting an opportunity to get back in the fold. Guys that hadn't been a part of us, like Josh Jackson, um, being one. Um, you know, just can't say enough about what they were able to do collectively. You know, um, it's a challenge when you play Tom Brady. Um, I just thought they did a really good job of letting our disguises work for us. We didn't have a big menu because um, we can't have a big menu. We got some young guys and inexperienced guys playing. And so whatever we had, we had to dress it up. And I just thought they did a really good job dressing it up and, and fighting the fight down in and down out. And so hopefully, man, we learn and grow in the right ways through this success and this experience and and um, because that's what the journey is about. I'll pause and open it up for questions. Mike, what's that say about Mitch to come in the game in that situation and make the plays that he made? You know, I don't know that it says anything that I didn't already know as I got to know him throughout this process, man. He's been professional in class every, at every step of the way. Um, that's why I mention it repeatedly when you guys ask me about what's transpiring at the quarterback position. Not only him, but Man, Ray Mason Rudolph was engaged and has got good ideas. Man, we are a collective, man, and I just appreciate the unselfishness of all of those guys throughout this process, and that's why I repeatedly bring it up. What does it say about your offense that they responded the way that they did with Mitch in there? It just says we got it done today. Um, we're not looking to make any more statements than that. We realize that, it, like I said, it's more than one day, one good plan, one winning performance as we work back to respectability. And so um, – it's what I said. You had multiple injuries in the defensive front and the secondary. And I asked you earlier in the week, would you put more pressure on the defensive front because of the injuries in the secondary? How do you think the, they responded to that responsibility? And like I answered earlier in the week, we had to pick our spots. In some instances, the pressure was on the back end. In some instances, the pressure was on the front end. And we had to be right. And largely, we were. We played that cat and mouse game. And that's what we had to do. Mike, you, you had, had a lot of big, you had a lot of your secondary to do or not to do. You know, facing creating a situation. I'm sorry. Was there anything specific you didn't want the secondary to do, or you wanted them to do? When you're in the state that we're in, we're more concerned about ourselves as opposed to who we're playing. We didn't want to screw ourselves up. We wanted to handle what it is that we could handle, um, and 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 dress it up to the best of our abilities. And so, our decision making process, from a schematic standpoint, on the back end, was geared toward our guys and what they could handle, probably more than any other variable. Mike, the, um, uh, the defense made a number of big short yardage stop. I think eight for like zero or fewer yards. What were you able to do? How were you able to do that? Again, we, we moved some people around a little bit in an effort to create uh, hopefully some confusion. Um, but, you know, just individual effort, man. I just, how many times you see Larry Ogunjobi kind of in the backfield in those moments? And so I'm just appreciative uh, of, of, of the strain and the effort of the men. I know Brian Flores is more of a behind-the-scenes guy, but how much just did his insight into Brady help in a situation like today? His contributions from all parties involved. Chase Claypool came, came through with a, a few really, really big catches there. What have you seen from him over the last few weeks as he's tried to... It was a good day today. Um, we're, not, we're talking about what transpired today. Um, he made some critical plays today. We're not trying to paint with a broad brush or show some trajectory. Uh, he made some plays today, and I'm appreciative of it. Mike, with all the young guys in the secondary, how big of a role did T.E. have? And could you speak to his performance? Man, he had to be a hub of communication. I mean, he was the only regular back there, and I'm just appreciative. And not only that, but he was coming off of a, of a missed action himself. And so I just thought he, would, he did a good job keeping, 
keeping the group cool today and, and communicating in that calm and soothing voice that's needed sometimes when you're in a huddle with, with some young people. Well, you've touched on it a bit, but what specifically the key to the defense in the red zone and the fact that you bent but didn't break and the key to getting stops there when they got inside the 20? I just thought we kept them off balance, some with some disguises and things of that nature, um, and, and Russian coverage kind of worked together. Uh, I just thought it was a collective. I don't know if it was one individual component of what it is that we did. The guys played hard. They understood what we were trying to do. They dressed it up. Russian coverage worked together. Like how does getting off to an early start and getting that lead help a defense that's obviously missing a bunch of pieces? We had to play 60 minutes when you're playing a guy like Tom Brady. The start of the game is going to be irrelevant in terms of the outcome of the game. We, we understand that. Coach, your thoughts on um, Steven Sims and his returns and his, you know, the, the effect that it had? Steve gave us what we expected him to give us, man. We're appreciative of his efforts. We're excited for him. Uh, we were excited for him a week ago. Glad we were able to get him out and, and up and running this today. All right, yeah. Oh. Yeah, Najee Harris, it seemed like he started to get going throughout the game. Is he feeling better? How's he going? I let him speak for him. I hadn't talked to him. The, the uh, secondary, obviously, did you see something from them during the week that just showed like that they had like any kind of extra, extra chip on their shoulder or anything like that? <laughs> no, man. They just had a lot of work in front of them. They knew who was waiting on us in this stadium, and they knew the state we were in. And so not a lot of discussions need to be had. Talk is cheap. Um, we needed a good work week. Anyone else? You had a number of pass breakups from your linebackers. What, what can you talk about that group in coverage today? I'm appreciative of that group. We asked a lot of them. We were running thin in the secondary, and so we call on them a lot. Um, you know, we play all three of our inside linebackers in various packages because that's where our depth was. Robert Spillane, um, I thought, was critical today in terms of us being able to do things because he played positions other than inside linebacker. In some instances, he was representing a nickel. In some instances, he was representing a down safety. Um, and to be able to do that, um, I'm just appreciative of, of his intellect and his efforts. Um, it allowed us to put our very best collection of people on the field. Um, and that's what you got to do sometimes when you're, when you're in less than ideal circumstances. All right. Thanks. Thanks.